Today, let's experiment with the cheat system in the MAME debugger. We will use the system to find in memory where the ball's position is stored when playing Arkanoid. But first, we'll need to have an idea of what we're looking for. We'll assume the ball's location is stored in two discrete 8-bit memory locations, one for the y-axis and one for the x. I'm going to assume that when the ball is toward the bottom of the screen, a large number will be stored, and when the ball is close to the top, a smaller number will be stored. First, we start the game and pause it by pressing the backtick key before the ball leaves the VOS. Then we initialize the cheat system and tell it we are looking for unsigned bytes and we'll target the first half of RAM. Cheat init unsigned bytes starting at address 0 and going for the first half. Now we'll unpause the emulation and let the ball rise up a few lines. Now we ask the cheat system to scan the memory it is monitoring and look for values that are now smaller than when it started. Cheat, next, decrease. it found 67 possible locations. Now let's run again and let the ball move a little bit more. Now we'll ask the cheat system again to look for values that are smaller still. Cheat next, DE, DE for decrease. And it found 19 further matches. Now let's run a little bit longer and let the ball bounce off the bricks. Go a little bit longer. Now let's ask the cheat system to find a value that is now increased since the last time we checked. Cheat, next, increase. Now we have a list of 10 addresses. From the, starting from the 32,000, now we have 10. Let's see what it's found. These are the 10 here. I'll cut to the chase and say that address 134 is the one we're at, we're looking for. But you can see how quickly this system found the correct address. It happened to be the third one in the list. Now that we know it, what can we do? Well, we can set that memory location to be anything we want. B exclamation point 134 equals 30. That sets the memory to 30. We can see that the ball was moved up to the top of the screen. Another interesting thing we can do is use an action in a breakpoint. Let's set a breakpoint at the interrupt service routine that's called on, on the start of every video frame. That's F6, FC for this program. And we're going to run a command where we set that memory location to be 30 and then go. So it doesn't actually stop. And now we go. And you can see the ball is hovering. It's trying to move up and down, but it's just hovering back and forth.
because every frame the MAME emulator is resetting the value to be just that line. This is a simple example of using the cheat system in the MAME debugger. I hope you learned something.